use the visionary cipher with the keyword find to decrypt the message. So in decrypting the message, we need to go backwards. So this keyword is going to tell us how much to go backwards by. So within this list, I'm going to list out what each letter is worth, essentially. So F is 5, I is 8, N is 13, and D is 3. So this is going to tell us what the shifting is. So now I'm going to rewrite my encrypted message and then write down what the shift is going to be for each letter. So just rewriting my message. Above each letter, I'm going to write down the shifting. So 5, 8, 13, and 3. Okay, as you go through, once you run out of letters, just start again. So 5, 8, 13, 3. 5, 8, 13, 3. 5, 8, 13, 3, 5. Okay, so keep in mind it's already been encrypted, so to decrypt I need to go back to where it came from. So the N was shifted by 5, so I'm going to shift it back 5. So 13 minus 5 is 8. So that's an I. The F was shifted by 8, so 18 minus 8 is 10. The A was shifted by 13, so let me just back it up 13. So 25 to 15 would be 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, the R was shifted by 3, so back 3 would be O. The B was shifted by 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, the word is starting to make sense, so I think I'm doing this right. The Q is shifted by 8, so 16 minus 8 is an I. G was shifted by 13, so back it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Z was shifted by 3, so back it up 3. M was shifted by 5. M was shifted by 8, so 12 minus 8 is 4. A was shifted by 13, so back it up 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, again, that's a word that makes sense. L was shifted by 3, so 11 minus 8, or 3 is 8. So I know it when I, let's see what the rest is. X was shifted by 5, so back it up 5. So S. M was shifted by 8, so 12 minus 8 is 4, giving me an E. R was shifted by 13, so 17 minus 13 is 4, giving me an E again. Okay, last one there, L was shifted by 3, so 11 minus 3 is 8, giving me an I. And then Y was shifted by 5, so 24 minus 5 is 19, giving me a T. So here's our message. I know it when I see it.